Namaste guys. It is sticky AF, which is why I'm so sweaty. But there you can see the New York skyline. Bar from the cars we're building for, because for some reason for the past what three or four days we've just not been able to see the Chrysler building. Um, that's Brooklyn and then here is the Statue of Liberty. So we're currently on Liberty Island uh, and then we're going to go to Ellis Island later on. <laughs> also very sweaty. Yes, yeah, warm. Um, so basically, we, we took a um, a ferry here, uh, which was actually pretty cool. Um, and would after being here, we're going to take a ferry to um, to Ellis Island. So um, when we were coming down on the ferry. Um, they told us, so obviously this is a statue designed by Eiffel, um, who also made the Eiffel Tower, uh, which is why you can see a replica of the Statue of Liberty in Paris. And um, so basically it was given as a present for the 100th year of independence, so the anniversary. And so this is on an island where if you were an immigrant coming from Europe, you would basically come, I think, from under that bridge there. Yeah. And you would see the statue full frontal and the big torch would be lit. And then it obviously was like a, a beacon of freedom because a lot of the people who were coming from Europe were either prosecuted or very, very poor. Um, there were, you know, Jews, there were Irish, um, Italian, very poor then as well. And then... Um, yeah, it was like people apparently were cheering and clapping when they would arrive here. So, you know yeah. Well, you know yeah, because it used to be copper, wasn't it? So it's completely, it, it should actually be completely copper colored, but it's green now because it's obviously oxidized. And don't mind the absolutely horrible construction area thingy, but, um, it is built on an old fort, which is why it's star formed. Okay, so we are now on the boat to Alice Island. Boats have a certain time frame that they leave, uh, but just be there about five to ten minutes early, just to make sure that you've got a space on the boat. Um, if you leave from Battery Park, um, try to be there about 20 minutes early uh, because we find it hard to find a space on the boat. Hi there, um, I thought I would just do my outro like this because obviously I forgot to do my outro on the boat, which is typical. Um, you might have noticed that my voice sounded a bit weird and that is because I was emotional of you know being at the Statue of Liberty. We booked our trip to the US two days before we left and that was because um, plane tickets came up and so basically what happened was that obviously in the summer the like, airport was closed, there was hardly any flights or you had to pay like thousands of dollars for like a one-way ticket out of Nepal and that's my cat <laughs> and we couldn't really afford that but then um, all of a sudden like um, restrictions eased and airport opened up and normal flights started going again and so we were able to go to the US. Um, and I was just a bit like, oh my god, I'm in New York, I'm at the Statue of Liberty, and I was just really emotional, to be fair. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and be a bit more consistent um, with uploading. Um, I'm definitely uploading a video about Nepal next week. Um, I'm also very active on TikTok at the moment, um, and I think that's where just most of my time goes to. Um, so I'll, I'll just leave my TikTok down in um, the description if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next week for a video on Nepal. And um, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!